Okay, we see uh, Blue Peter outside the shed uh, at Haworth. I believe it was having some maintenance done on uh, on some of the uh, side rods. I'm not right sure. It was such a long time ago. Uh, this uh, this was at the time before it had the uh, big accident where part of its uh, valve gear was destroyed due to the uh, severe wheel slip. It's strange when you see some of the uh, videos that you see the public uh, walking about anywhere they want to in the shed yard, in the shed, just just wandering around. You don't realise how dangerous it was with open pits and engine movements. Obviously it wouldn't be allowed today but um, in them days nobody seemed to bother. shed spent many many a hour in this uh, shed when I worked up on the Worth Valley Railway brings back a lot of memories seeing this with the uh, ironclad 957 Barton Wright. Um, it looks like it's been made up to appear in some kind of a, a film. Uh, I never heard anything about this while I was uh, working up there. is my good lady having a look at uh, the Derby 4F number 43924. I was on the footplate of this engine when uh, it was filled with leaking tubes and it was uh, immediately withdrawn and uh, from then on it was stored for many years until restoration which is now running uh, up at the Keithworth Valley Railway. We see 752, which was built by Bayer Peacock in 1881 as an 06010 engine designed for the Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway by Barton Wright. In 1896, it was rebuilt at Horwich as an 060 saddle tank to an Aspinall design as there, as there was a need for shunting locomotives. It is 8002 and 75078 uh, at the uh, Santa Special. I can't remember the date of this. It's 
early or mid 90s. There are lots of blowing off here. I think it's something to make all this uh, an atmospheric type shot. <laughs> Here we have a visitor, Great Western Railway, 7800 class, 7828 Ordnum Manor. Hope it was of interest and thanks for watching.